Could we be getting closer to understanding our pets? Researchers at Occidental College hope so. Yeah, they've started the Canine Intelligence Lab with a look at what each tail wag, each bark, and each growl mm -hmm. really means. Kate Gal's Joy Benedict shows us. Who's this? They are clearly man's best friend. I don't know how to tell you we're out of treat. But since we really don't speak the same language, the wag of a tail isn't always a definitive answer. I can tell when he's like ready for a walk or needs, you know, needs just some extra love or feels lonely because I've been at the computer all day. And Nemer has been Joey's faithful human for more than a decade, <laughs> but she can't help but wish she knew more about his thoughts. You're never quite sure like what's going on inside them and I wish she could tell me. Ready Maritza? Which is exactly why psychology professor Zachary Silver opened the canine intelligence lab at Occidental College. Our main questions right now surround how dogs and humans can coexist in the best possible way. And now they're calling all dogs, looking for pup and human volunteers for behavioral tests. Some studies involve social decision making, others involve problem solving or self-control. We have a whole assortment of things that dogs do. Maritza, look. This study has his students competing in front of the pup and taking the stance of pride or shame to see which is more enticing to the dog. So we'll see who she asked for help from. Or this exercise allows the pup to seek help from a happy person or one with no distinctive emotion. I can tell she spent a little bit longer time with that happy, competent person which is exactly what we expect dogs to do in this situation. Short mental exercises to try and learn more about the needs of our faithful companions and how we interact with them. Your dogs pay such close attention to the things that we do. They're constantly monitoring our behavior and using that information to guide their interactions with us. Juju! Something Nemer recognizes with every ear perk. He's very receptive to happy people and their and happy energy, but he can also really tell like if I'm sad or I'm stressed, he is very very intuitive to that and he sits down and he like looks at me with his eyes like a doggy therapist and with more studies and more volunteers this group of researchers is hopeful they can find the canine connection to keep all human companions out of the doghouse joy benedict kcal news